Larry Rogers. I'm the VP of Marketing for National Equipment Dealers. We're here in North Carolina with May RHI and a couple of reps from Tana and Humdinger. And we're in the process of doing a demo uh, here at a landfill at Iredale Landfill, uh, Iredale County. Uh, we are actually going side by side with our Tana E520 next to a Caterpillar and uh, have several different customers out here evaluating the efficiencies and the productivity of the Tana. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to Dusty Ziegler to uh, share a little bit about what they're telling him and share a little bit about the Tana specifically. All right, Dusty Ziegler here again in the aromatic landfill. We're in Statesville, North Carolina at Iredale County. Uh, we got a few prospects, several counties to come out and see a Tana landfill compactor demonstration. Uh, we have here our E520 series, which is our 120,000 pound class compactor. Uh, you hopefully you'll see it working in the background here in a second as it comes across your vision. And uh, we're here today to answer questions for, for our prospects and just showcase what we have. Uh, looking at the, the E520 Tana uh, compared to our, our competition in the background, uh, of course our engineering's different. You can see that right away. We have two drums and not four wheels. Uh, our cab is mounted on the forward part of the machine, and those are very notable differences. Uh, also, we have a lot more number of cleats on our drums than the competition does uh, on their four wheels. So those two things from an engineering perspective, uh, with the addition of the weight distribution and rigid frame of the Tana compactor, uh, set our, our, our compactor above the rest in the market. If you'll note the Tana, we're working on a slope today. We have a, uh, a very close working face and everything we're doing is, is pushing and compacting up and down and, and our compact, the Tana compactor is side by side with our competition. Uh, hopefully our, our prospects can see the different features of the Tana and how well it does versus the competition out on the market. A lot of comments and, and especially questions we get from, from operators and, and onlookers are uh, about the, the way the machine uh, operates. Uh, the cap sits forward. Uh, visibility is from your toenails to your eyebrows. You can see the blade. So there's a, a few differences that you have to adjust yourself to. Uh, another notable difference in, in the operating of the machine is uh, when you're riding over the trash, um, it feels a lot smoother because you're not rocking back and forth and riding over the trash. You're, you're actually pushing the trash down and compacting it uh, quite a bit much more with the time. So questions like that and then the questions about the uh, components of the machine were, are very common. Uh, Tana uses the Cummins engine and Rexroth pumps and the Parker hydraulics, uh, which are very, very familiar products to most anyone, anyone in, in the landfill business or the construction equipment industry. Tana is a, a name brand that's growing in popularity in North America. Tana is a global company. They have been building the compactor since the 1960s. They have been mass reducing it since the early 1970s. Uh, they're a Finland company and manufacture the product in Finland. Uh, it's growing, growing in popularity. Uh, North America, uh, Humdinger and Tana North America have, have been spreading the Tana product from, from Florida to Canada for the last 10 years. And uh, we're doing things like what we're doing today to, to get it out there and get it known. Uh, we, we have high hopes that today will be a success and we'll sell another Tana. Tana, Tana has several different products. Uh, here in North America, our, our, two, our two featured products are the Tana Landfill Compactor Series and the Tana Shredder Series. Uh, Tana makes a, a shredder that uh, shreds a variation of waste streams and is a, a, a high torque machine, if you will, that will shred just about anything. And if it won't shred it, it will let you know that it can't shred it and not self-destruct. Um, other products that Tana has, uh, globally speaking, they, they have some separating machines and um, uh, trommel screens, star screens, and, and things of that nature. So they're not just a, a one-hit wonder, so to speak. From a pricing standpoint, Tana is certainly not the cheapest product on the market. Uh, actually, we feel that it should be the most expensive because of the airspace savings and compaction density that it gets. But, but we're neck and neck with the uh, industry leaders. Uh, but we create the airspace savings and save landfills a lot of money. We're a very efficient machine. Uh, we save time and resources and certainly have uh, fuel economies that help us uh, 
help our customers save more money. All of our guys at Tana North America, we're excited to work with NED and May and, and RHI uh, because, of, because of their passion and their enthusiasm, let alone their, their work ethic and, uh, and, and what they're trying to do in the market. And they're, they're all such a great big team and we're happy to be a part of what they do and, and look forward to enjoying some of their successes and being part of their successes. Folks, we appreciate your attention. We hope you enjoyed the show. We're going to get back to the demo. Have a great day.